Hi friends, it's Mrs. Baird. I hope you are all doing well today on this beautiful spring day. Um, today I was going to read a book to you guys. Um, the book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm sure many of you know this book. Um, so hopefully it might look familiar to you. If not, I hope you enjoy it. Before we begin, I thought we could sing our friend song. So let's get our three fingers out. And on three, we'll start. One, two, three. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. You're my friend, you're my friend, you're my friend, you're my friend. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. And I know that we're not here together, but know that I'm always thinking about you and hoping that you're enjoying our books and videos um, at home. Okay, so here is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You see the egg? The egg is on the leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Here he is. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Ooh, that's a lot. How do we think our caterpillar is feeling? Not good. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> you see how pretty he is? The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the very hungry caterpillar and how our caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye friends.